Hello, class eight. Today we are going to start exercise one point two. This is rational numbers going on, and in this exercise we are having basically two types of questions based based on number line. Your first question says represent these numbers on the number line. Though you have shown integers on number line as well as rational numbers on the number line. So we'll start with seven by four is the first part, and the second part is minus five upon six. This first part states that this first part is seven upon four. It is positive. It means that it is when we represent on the number line, it would be on the right hand side of zero. And as this is an improper fraction because numerator is greater than the denominator, so it would. Not come in between zero to one because zero to one would be the proper fraction. So it would need one to two or two to three for representing this. Now we will represent on the number line minus one, zero, one, and two, and um, so on on the left or right side. But how many parts do we need to make it? In between two whole numbers, suppose we have taken zero and one. So, how many parts we need for to divide it in? That depends on the denominator. Now, what is our denominator here? Our denominator is four. So, we have to divide our two parts in between four parts. This is the denominator four. So, we will divide. Two numbers with four parts, and here in the second part we will divide it in six parts. Two, the gap between two numbers should be six parts. But for making six parts or four parts, what we have to do? Do minus one out of the denominator. If you have done minus one of this denominator, you can put that number of lines in between two line, two numbers. Suppose if we have taken suppose if this is the line, and we have taken this zero, and this is the number one. So in between any two numbers, whatever numbers you will be making, in between these two numbers, what you have to do is. You have to draw whatever the denominator is minus one line. So four is the denominator, minus one is three. So in between zero and one, you have to put three lines, but that should be in the equal distance. See, when you have made three lines in between two numbers, you are having four parts. This is the first part. Second part, third part, and this is the fourth part. So for making three, with make for uh, making three lines in between two numbers, you are having two parts. This is between zero and one. Same you will be doing between one and two. Same you will be doing between two and three. And if you have to go to negative side, same you will be doing between zero to minus one. I hope this is clear to you. Let's start its number line. Now see. I have taken this is number zero to one and one to two. There are three dots in between, but you will be making the lines. That would be more clear because you will be making uh, you uh, the dots to be bigger or smaller. It should not be like that. And please take care that the gap between any two points everywhere should be the same. Now, if we we'll start this zero, so this is zero upon four. This is one upon four. Two upon four, three upon four, and this point is four upon four. And if you are taking this to be four upon four, you can reduce four upon four, but you will be getting. If you have taken this four upon four, you can reduce it. Or after reducing four with four, you will be getting it to be one. And this is the point one, which is showing. Then next point would be five upon four. Next is six upon four, and the next point is seven upon four, and you can check also the next point is eight upon four, and eight upon four is 
2 that 4 ones are 4 4 to the 8 so you have to represent this point only so you will make a circle on the line here and represent this is point 7 upon 4 see how you will be representing it i'll tell you when you have taken this point whatever your point is you will mark it with a circle i'm not saying this is the point but you mark it and circle it and then on the top of it you will write the, this is the point 3 upon 4 this way you will be doing it okay let's move to second part that says minus 5 upon 6 as it is negative so it would be on the left side of 0 and you have to take 6 parts between any two numbers and it will be surely between 0 to 1 because it is a proper fraction you can see this minus 5 is smaller 5 is smaller than 6 so it is a proper fraction and it will come between 0 to 1 because 6 upon 6 is 1 that it will come before minus 1 so you will be dividing two numbers between six parts so we have taken five lines in between like 0 to 1 we have taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As I told you that if it is 6 parts, yes, denominator, 6 parts we have to make. And for making 6 parts, we will draw 5 lines in between 2 numbers. So, this is 1 by 6, minus 1 by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 3 by 6, minus 4 by 6, minus 5 by 6. And this is minus 6 by 6, that is minus 1. And we have made it till minus 2 here. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. And you can draw any number on the number line. As of now. First we have to. Here is when we have uh, represented 0, 1 and 2. We are representing whole numbers on the number line. In the second part. First we represented integers on the number line. And then thereafter we have represented rational numbers. So we can represent any type of number on the number line. Even in higher, higher classes. You will be learning how to represent the root numbers in number line. Okay. Let's move to question number 2. Let's state represent minus 2 by 11, minus 5 by 11 and minus 9 by 11 on the number line. Here you have to represent all these three numbers on one number line. As it has the denominator 11 and all three numbers you have to represent on the number line. So, these all three numbers would be on the left side of 0. So, there is no need to represent the right side. You can, but it's not necessary. And all three numbers are proper. Here, the denominator numerator is 2, 5 and 9, which is smaller than 11. So, it means all these numbers are between 0 and minus. Now, see. We have taken minus 1, 0 and 1 to make it more clearer. Now, we have made 11 parts between 0 and minus 1 and same you have to do for 0 and 1. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have made 10 lines to make 11 parts, right? So, in these 10 lines we receive 11 parts and we will represent how which one is minus 2 by 11 this is very clear this is minus 1 so the num second one is minus 2 upon 11 then 3 and 4 we have to leave this is 5 by 11 6 7 8 we have to leave this is 9 by 11 and you can check also by this is 10 by 11 and this is minus 11 by 11 and when you will be Reducing 11 by 11, you will be getting minus 1. So, you have checked your answer as well. Alright. Let's move to question number 3. Write 5 rational numbers which are smaller than 2. Now, see, there are two methods of doing this. This is a very simple question. You have to write 5 rational numbers. Jo 2 se chote hon, smaller than 2. So, what is the another form? First of all, you will be writing 2 in 
the form of p upon q though 2 is also a rational number but we will write it first in the form of 2 p upon q we can write it as 2 upon 1 and we have multiplied it with 10 on numerator and denominator both so it becomes 20 upon 10 hence we can say that the five rational numbers smaller than 2 are that could be written as the smaller than this 19 upon 10 any any number you can write 19 upon 10 15 upon 10 10 upon 10 5 upon 10 2 upon 10 it could be in consecution also 19 upon 10 18 upon 10 17 upon 10 16 whatever this is you have done it in p by q form or you can do it simply that the numbers which are smaller than 2 would be the rational numbers because 2 is also a rational number. This I have done it in this way just to explain you that it's not necessary that these are rational numbers only which are written in the form of p by q. 2 is also a rational number because we can write 2 as 2 upon 1 that is in the form of p by q. And now see how we can do it simple the numbers which are smaller than 2 are in the number line how do you write it to say chote numbers that is 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on all the negatives are smaller than this so that is the another answer that five rational numbers which are smaller than 2 are 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 there are two type two questions of this type in this exercise so i request you all to do question number three here in both the ways to retain this thing in your mind and for the next similar question you will be doing any one type either the smaller one or this p upon q form but here for question three you will be doing it in both the ways and you will be writing in between that or or simply you will be writing you will you will make a box when you will be writing or okay make a box so that it would be clear that this is another way or you can write the word another way okay let's move to question number four
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव स्टेट फाइंड फाइव रैशनल नंबर बिटवीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज टू बाई थ्री एंड फोर बाई फाइव This is a very similar question as we have done the previous one. First, we'll find the LCM of three and five. That would be fifteen. This is the second part. Minus three upon two and minus five upon three. And this is the third part. I one by four and one by two. Though I will not be doing all the parts here, but I have given all the parts here as questions because might be or not having the book. So for giving you the questions, I have written all the parts here. The first part is by two by three and four by five. The LCM of three and five would be fifteen. So again, we will be taking two by three here and four by five on the next part. We'll multi. We want the LCM to be fifteen, and uh, that we will be writing here as well. That LCM Is equals to fifteen. LCM of denominator and numerator would be fifteen. Till now, I don't uh, think you have any problem. Now, when you will be taking two point three, you have to multiply the denominator three with five to make it fifteen. And when the denominator is five, you will be multiplying with three to make the denominator fifteen. So when you have multiplied denominator, you have to multiply the Same with numerator. So with the first multiplication step, you got the answers to be two fives are ten by fifteen and twelve by fifteen. But between ten by fifteen, you have made the denominator same here. That's very good. But between ten by fifteen and twelve by fifteen, there is only one rational number. But you want five rational numbers as asked in the question. It is five, right? So what we'll be doing? Now we'll multiply it further with any number. If we want five, you can take th uh, little bigger because if you multiply it with two, so it would be twenty and it would be twenty-four. So twenty and twenty-four are not having five rational numbers in between there. So I have taken five, or you can take ten also to make your calculations easier. So if I have multiplied with five here, I have to multiply all with five so that the denominator also remain the same. So ten fives are fifty, and fifteen fives are seventy-five. Same way, twelve fives are sixty, and fifteen fives are seventy-five. I request you all to learn the tables again. Therefore, five uh, properly learn your tables. It's good time for you to practice what tables have learned. Keep revising it at your home. Stand in front of a mirror and keep speaking the tables. It will help you in learning better. Therefore, five rational numbers between two by three and four by five. Here you have to write the original numbers. So, it among the denominator here is same seventy-five. You can write any numbers, but you will not take fifty and sixty. Other than that, from fifty-one to fifty-nine, you can take any five numbers: fifty-one upon seventy-five, fifty-two upon seventy-five, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five upon seventy-five. I hope I made this clear to you well, and you can try. This is seventy-five, not forty-five. This is seven. Okay. Let's moving move ahead. I want you try second and third part on your own once. This is second part. This is third part. I want you to try it once. Still, if you have any problem, I'll discuss with you in your class. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Question number six. What it says? Write five rational numbers greater than minus two. Now this is the question which I have explained you in the very starting. I guess second question it was. It is having two ways. The numbers greater than minus two. 
either you will write it in the form of p by q that would be minus 2 upon 1 and when you will be multiplying it further with any number you can write either minus 20 upon 10 or you can represent minus 2 as minus 14 upon 7. In uh, rational number in p by q form also there are many ways to write this number like if you reduce this 7 1 the 7, 7 2 the 14 you will be getting minus 2 or else you can write it in also in the form of minus 20 upon 10 as we have done in, done it in the previous question. You can write this to be minus 20 upon 10 and then you can write the greater number than this. Now the point is where which side is the greater number are you having on the left hand side or on the right hand side any idea the greater number on the number line are at right side. So you can write minus 19 upon 10 minus 18 upon 10 minus 17 upon 10 and so on. Similarly the other way is you can write if you have taken it to be minus 14 upon 7 the numbers greater than minus 14 by 7 are in counting it is smaller because it is negative so it would be minus 13 minus 12 upon 7 minus 11 upon 7 minus 10 upon 7 and minus 9 upon 7 because these numbers are smaller than 14 but we are taking negative so we are taking negative so it, these numbers would be the greater number than this or simply you can write minus 2 say bade number whatever would be on the right hand side of this would be minus 1 0 1 2 3 5 rational numbers greater than minus 2 are minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on but he wants 5 so we have written only 5 i hope this is clear to you well you can in your notebook also you can write any one of these three parts Okay, and if you are representing uh, both, then please make a box on this, or simply, or better word is another way, yeah, another method. Let's move to question number seven. This is the last question of this exercise as well as the last question of this chapter. Find 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. This is very similar to what you have done earlier, but still I am doing it here for you. First, we will find the LCM of the denominator that is 5 and 4 is 20. 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 can be represented. And now we will take the terms in the vertical form as we have done earlier. 3 upon 5, we need to multiply this 3 by 5 with 4. We just use its denominator. When we have seen 5, we need to multiply it with 4 to get it 20. So, our answer is 12 upon 20. And here the denominator is 4. So, we have to multiply it with 5 to make the denominator 20. And as we have multiplied the denominator with 5, we have to make the numerator 5 multiplication. So, 3 5s are 15. So, our first answers here are 12 upon 20 and 15 upon 20 right now first check that are we getting 10 rational numbers in between 12 and 15 no we are not getting so we need to multiply it with another number here again we can take any number to multiply i have taken 5 but you can take any of the numbers 10 20 2 3 4 but you have to see my, my might be if you multiply it with 2 you are not getting 10 rational numbers with, between. So, this whole step you can do again there. Okay. No need to cut your answer in that case. So, if we have multiplied with 5, we got 12 fives are 60. 20 into 5 is 100. And 15 fives are 75. 20 into 5 is 100. So, it is 60 upon 100 and 75 upon 100. Now, we have to find a few rational numbers in between 60 and 75 there are 15 approximately numbers so we can write any 10 
therefore 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 are 61 upon 100, 62 upon 100, 63 upon 100 and it keeps on going till 70 upon 100. Because if we have taken 61 to 70, there are 10 rational numbers, right? With this, your exercise is over. Now you will be given an assignment which you have to try it on your own. All the best to you all. Stay at home, stay safe, study as well and do enjoy your this time. And make your time more productive rather than just wasting it all the time. All right. Thank you.